My name is Sarah Deckert. This is my 27th year. My current role is to be the principal over the elementary, intermediate, and middle school. <laughs> Why I think it's important to look back at the history is because God's been at work in this whole thing from the beginning. There was a group of women, four women, who um, in 1971, they were developers and they uh, got land from the Amon Carter Foundation and started developing Lake Country Estates. They met on the, this grassy hillside, which is now where the school sits, to pray over the land and to dedicate it to the Lord. They hired a missionary home on furlough to help build a community of believers in this area. So a Bible study was formed and that Bible study eventually by 1975 became incorporated as a church. So Lake Country Baptist Church came out of the prayer of those, those ladies. And then in 1980, the pastor of the church um, called the church to a period of six weeks of meeting in small groups and praying about what was the outreach, what did God want there to be for the church, what kind of service, what kind of mission. And so Earl King stood up and said, I believe God wants us to begin a Christian school. So it was in 1980 that the school began. The first place that the school met was in the what's now the cafetorium with cardboard partitions, all of the grades in one room. <laughs> and so that was the way that the school began with 31 students, 35 students, but now we're at almost 600 students. And so there's been a great growth, you know, over the past 45 years. And it really is a testimony of God's faithfulness. A church member kind of took the initial principalship of it with Jesse McElreath as the administrator. I heard him talk oftentimes about wanting to be sure that um, children understood, knew the Word, and that they also would have an understanding of who they were in Christ. That if kids could grow up understanding who God made them to be and who, what He provided for them and who they were in Christ, that they would be able to walk in that, walk in integrity, but walk in that as a whole person and be able to be launched into whatever he had plans he had for them. But from the beginning of the school, um, fine arts, academic excellence, and athletics were part of the very beginning. We weren't just going to be a, a school that was a religious school, but we were going to be a, a school of excellence. I don't think I said it strongly enough in, that the church saw that the school was a mandate from God. This was not a man-made idea, it was God's idea. And so to be able to tell the story of what God's done through the years and then to ask Him, well, what's gonna be next? We're helping people to understand God's at work. He hasn't stopped working. <laughs> and there's, there's always a need. There was a need back in 1980 for children to understand who God is, to build, to grow in their relationship with Him, to understand who they are. There's still a need. Um, the forces around us are not any less than they were then. They're more and they're different. We're at this time in history and the kids who are born now, the kids who are in the school now, need to be equipped to go out and do what God's called them to do. I love the story of Lake Country Christian School um, because it's a God story. He's been in the middle of it from the beginning, the inception of it, and he has continued to be a part, and it's evident that he is a part even until today.